Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's day six. Woohoo! It's like this, or this, or this. <laughs> this. Day six. It's day six of our essential oil boot camp. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Where's my morning ladies here? <laughs> Come on, Miss Brandy, Kim, Amy. <laughs> Where are you guys? Miss Sherry. Um, Anyway, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mahal Mingus. I am a homeschooling mom. I'm a physical therapist. I'm an autism mom, and I'm an essential oil educator. I love sharing um, and teaching people about the wonders, the amazing stuff that essential oils can do. And we've been having this essential oil boot camp, and this has blessed me so, so much, you guys. Just um, really kind of... Um, organizing all of this content you know for 10 days it has been such you know I've, I've learned so much so I hope that you're learning too but anyway if you are watching me um, live or if you are watching the the recording of this broadcast I want to um, ask your favor to like you know this broadcast to comment on it, you know, tell me, you know, what are the helpful things that um, that you learned, you know, from the broadcast so far and from this this one. Um, invite people that you can still invite friends, you know. So click on the event page. Don't, you know, I told you last week to tag them. I think if they're not invited here on this event, they cannot see it because it's a private. I set it up as a private event. So invite them. Go to the um, event, the, the event page, and then click um, share or invite, and invite your friends there. And then please, 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 I love reading all of your comments. That has blessed me so much. So every time, you know, like I discuss something and you like it, please comment on it. Good morning, Miss Lisa. I'm um, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Thank you for the like. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. All right. So, um, well, this Saturday, I, oh my gosh, I was super busy this weekend. We had the Young Living Rally, and that was my first rally. That was my first time to attend one. We're going to have another one on um, July. And if you haven't been to a rally, please, 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 um, uh, watch out for that. We're going to have it in July and we're hoping to have it here in the shop again, maybe in a bigger place upstairs. So, um, we, um, on the rally, I think the, we learned a lot of great stuff. It was kind of like a mini convention, but, um, um, one great news is drum roll, please. Valor is back. Yay! So, if you're a member, you know, go to um, your virtual office and order that oil, Valor. You need it. Everybody needs Valor in their lives. So, I am super excited that Valor is back. And they said that um, it's going to be, you know, I'm hoping <laughs> that we're going to have Valor for, for a long time just because of the, um, the camphor oil that they put in there and that's more sustainable. Um, all right, so that made me so happy, you know, this weekend. Hi, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and so, um, okay, so last week I did a, you know, I asked um, or I, I did a promo that if you um, or if for any of you who uh, wants to enroll um, or sign up, you know, to get started with this amazing oils that we discussed last week and um, if you are ready to get your um, premium starter kit which is right here your um, 11 oils plus a free diffuser um, if you do that and you sign up for essential rewards um, you will get this three citrus oils. I've talked a lot about citrus oils last week and how much I love putting it in my water and in my tea and in my Ningxia red. Good morning Marlo. There's my girl. Um, so <clears throat> they will get lemon or you will get lemon grapefruit and lime essential oil okay these are awesome stuff these are five mil bottles each one of them has anywhere from you know 60 to 80 drops so they're gonna last you a while you know in your in your water so please do that you have to get the premium starter kit 
and it all in essential rewards and then messaged me and said, hey, you know, you said <laughs> this. And so if you kind of scroll down, um, when I announced that, I also put all of the pictures of my leaders. So if you would rather, you know, if you're more comfortable signing up under, um, under my leaders, then <laughs> no, Marlo, you cannot sign up again. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> so if you um, um, if you want to sign up under them, like if they um, invited you in this event page, or if they've been talking to you about the oils, um, you know, go back to them and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm just having this promo right now. I really want to. I really want to get those three oils. I'm um, in addition to all of my eleven oils. So um, please help me get started. They would be more than happy to help you get started. So. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, please uh, bless them. They will, th that would make their week. So that goes on, you know, until Friday. You have until Friday at 12 o'clock at night, 12 midnight, to, um, to avail of that promo, okay? I would highly, highly encourage you to. We have the most awesome team ever, so, you know, you won't be um, alone out there. There's going to be a lot of leaders that will guide you on your oil journey. So, um, there you go. Um, another thing that I want to invite you. So it says, please like, comment, invite Facebook friends to the event. Um, follow me at Holy Mary Mahalmingas if you haven't done so. And I also have a Know His Oils virtual classroom. Um, it's a secret page, so you have to friend me first and then ask me to be added, you know, for you to be added to that group. I teach there every Monday um, at 8.30. I may have to rethink that time. It's 8.30 in the afternoon. So I may have to move it. I'm thinking about it. So, But anyway, if you want to be in that group, um, ask me. Um, or message me. All right, so let's get going. Um, <clears throat> so there's different types of essential oils. Okay, so last week we talked about water essential oils. We talked about the history of essential oils. We talked about how these oils um, function in the plants so that we, we know how they work in the plants. They are experienced healers and repairers and, and helpers. And what they do to the plant, they would do to us as well. They're, that's their job. They're so experienced in doing that. And that's why they work so, so well. And I love, love, love that. Um, I love that that uh, day when we discussed that. We talked about the different um, schools of aromatherapy, whether there's German and British and French aromatherapy, and we have access to the best purest oils with the end living, and so we follow the French aromatherapy. So that's why we inhale it, we take it, um, we apply it topically, we can apply it directly or dilute it with an oil and, or carrier oil, and we can take it orally, okay? So the Vitality um, oils, we can take it orally. So that goes back to those different types of models. And um, the same thing with if you're going through different websites or different Facebook groups or different um, um, books and, and references, now you would know why some would advocate for, oh, just inhale it or, you know, just apply it topically, don't take it orally. That's the reason why you have to go back to that video and, and learn why there's, there's just different, you know, just different schools. And we follow the um, aroma, th uh, the French aromatherapy. Good morning, Kim. I'm telling you what, Kim brought all of her family to the rally this Saturday. It was so cool. And in a way, I'm so jealous that her kids, <laughs> her young kids have been exposed and have access to, to these oils at such a young age. Man, how I wish I would have been exposed to the oils in such a young age. But her daughter, you know, just kind of blurted out all the stuff that these oils can do and that warms my heart Kim that almost made me cry <laughs> and, uh, that was that was that touched me so deeply so so give your daughter a big hug you know for me um anyway so and then after that we talked about the the two days we spent um, the Thursday and the Friday talking about the oils in your premium starter kit. So if you have your starter kit and you're like, oh, I don't know how to, you know, how to use this stuff, then by golly, go back to those um, video and just kind of, you know, um, learn about it. And I also gave you some reference books, um, you know, to look at. So if you go to Life Science Publishing, um, just Google Life Science Publishing. Um, I think their website is Discover. 
lsp.com. Um, be sure to, you know, they have so many great resources there. Okay. Hi, Miss Brandy. Good morning. Happy Monday. You got your Ningxia. You got, I got your, your Ningxia water and your citrus um, oils in it right there. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the different types of essential oils. So there's the, the genuine um, essential oil that's distilled, that is a process of distillation. So there's three things, okay? And then the second one is the, what they call the absolutes. And then the third one is um, the expressed essential oils. So distilled essential oils, absolutes, and expressed essential oils. What are those? What are those? And why do they do it that way? Hi, hi, Daphne. Hi, Inday Kathia. It's so good for you to join me. Good morning, Miss Cece. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let's first talk about um, the distilled essential oils. Okay, so these essential, when you say essential oils, strictly, that is usually a term given to a product of distillation process. Good morning, Miss Chloe. Thank you for the like. Send me likes, you guys. It's it would power me up. <laughs> it would power up my brain cells. Give me some likes. Um, so essential oils um, are strictly, when you say essential oils, they're product of steam distillation, okay? And so, you know, for two years, I was um, able to go to the Young Living Farms and was able to really witness while the oils are being distilled. And so, so this is kind of what it would look like. This is like a glass container where the essential oils, the yellow part, are the essential oils that's being collected. And then the, thank you for the likes, you guys. Hi, Miss Kirsten. Good morning. And then this here is the water. So that's how it kind of, it, it separates, you know, the, the oil from the water. And that's how they collect it. And this is kind of when we went to the Young Living Farms at their distillation um, area, they, they have this big um, tanks or distillers. I don't know exactly what they call it, but that's where they put all of the plant material. And then as you go downstairs, you'll see all this kind of, kind of like giant glass tubes that um, after con it's that process of condensation, then it collects the the essential oils and it separates it from the water and you'll see that and it was so amazing to see like when you go down there it smells so good it's almost intoxicating and and you will see this essential oils this drop of essential oils you know um it was it was amazing like you look at it and and you're just like wow it's just so um emotionally touching to me and even Tristan you know my boy he was videotaping it you know when we went to convent to the lavender farms last year and was just so fascinated with it so so strictly speaking when you say essential oils it's usually the product of distillation okay and um, <clears throat> And so what they do when they distill the essential oils, they have to distill it at very, very low pressure and very, very low temperature. Why? Because that is the best way for them to preserve as many um, healing compounds, as many therapeutic compounds that that essential oil or that that plant has or that that essential oil has. Okay, so when they do that, Okay, we need to think about this low pressure, low temperature distillation, then um, it's like harvesting these oils or extracting these oils from the plant material and you come up with the, the as closest to nature as possible, okay? So they said that, um, you know, like each essential oil, each molecule of essential oils is like hundreds and hundreds of compounds that are present in it that makes it a therapeutic oil and so you want to harvest that you want to harvest that as much you know like as much of those um you want to preserve as much of those con constituents as you can and when you're um distilling it at low pressure low temperature then that's how you kind of take care of this oils or else if you do high pressure high temperature it would damage a lot of the constituents and instead of getting 300 you know healing compounds or therapeutic compounds you're gonna have five or seven so very very important that your your um company knows what they're doing as far as you know their distillation process and that they have a say in that now 
in that note, I'm going to say that some essential oils that are just, you know, like popping up <laughs> um, <clears throat> recently because essential oils are getting so popular, they don't even get to be a part of that process. They get these already distilled essential oils and they just bottle it or, or it's already in a bottle and they just label it. So they really don't have a say about, you know, how was, how were those plants, you know, cultivated and planted and, and harvested and, and were, they were not even involved in the distillation process. And a lot of that, a lot of adulteration can go on during that process. And they'd say, hey, this is the best distilled lavender ever. And, um, and they take their word for it. So sometimes the company would say, oh, this is how they process the oils and they're distilled and da, 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 da. They're not even a part of that. And so they may have their heart at the right place and their intentions right, but they have no idea what went on from seed to seal process is what we call it. And we're so proud in Young Living that we take pride in that seed to seal process where, um, you know, they, they have they have a say on each of that process and when you do you get the best oils like that one you guys or give me hearts for that one seed to seal process you got to check it out www.seedtoseal.com uh, seed and you'll be so amazed with the farms that Young Living owns and as members you can take a part in that you can actually go and participate in the harvest and the planting and and the you know and 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 that that whole seed to seal process so um, anyway check that out so um, let's see so what happens if essential oils would distill these oils in high pressure, high temperature, then instead of having hundreds and hundreds of um, therapeutic compounds in that oil, they get four or five or six. Now, some companies would do that um, if they just want to use the oils for perfume grade, you know, for perfumes or for food flavoring. They really don't care about all this this amazing compounds that we love so much, you know, in this oils that make the oils work very, very well. But they are just interested on the compounds that makes, um, that, that provides the scent or the flavor, um, uh, you know, um, in their products. And so they do high pressure, high temperature. Doing it that way is a lot faster um, and a lot easier and a lot cheaper for these companies so you know they just do it that way and um, they save lots of money and then they can make money more money and so you know you also I want you to realize that there are essential oil companies that um, pre or distill the essential oils in high pressure high temperature that would damage a lot of the therapeutic um, quality of the oil and still label it as pure oil or or pure therapeutic grade or, you know, 100% pure and natural, you know, the, when we talk about labeling, please pray for me because, I, you know, that's the, uh, I would need a lot of stress away when I talk about purity of essential oils because, oh my goodness, you would be so surprised at how um, these companies are, are, are like labeling and doing this and can get away with it. So anyway, pray for me on that day <laughs> that I discussed that. But the point is that an essential oil, if it is distilled properly by low pressure, low temperature, um, that is as close to nature as that process will permit. So Young Living, I'm telling you guys, I've been to their farms, I've been to their um, distillery, and I've met the, the people, the farmers, and the, and the chemists that test all of this from seed to seal. Um, they are amazing. When you go to their website and they say, you know, we give you the purest oils on earth, I mean, they are not kidding. They're really committed to that. And, and that's so amazing to me. I'm so glad that we have access to those oils. All right, so the next one are absolute. So those are distilled essential oils. The second one are the absolute oils. So what are those? Now, there are a few plants that just cannot survive the distillation process. So whether, whether it's um, um, the lowest pressure and the lowest temperature, these, the, the healing compounds or the therapeutic compounds are just so sensitive that it just cannot survive the distillation process. So um, to be able to, dis or to able to harvest these oils, companies has to, they have to use a method called um, chemical solvent, you know, extraction. So they actually use a chemical 
to extract those essential oils so they don't go through the 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 heat and the pressure to harvest the oils they just use the chemicals all right so um i want you to know that with absolutes though um the you know there are like different types of, of chemical solvents that they use and that's ethanol methanol benzene or hexane and you know the the one there that is not toxic is ethanol and that's what young living uses there are a lot of companies that would um harvest their their absolutes you know their absolute essential oils by using methanol benzene or hexane and you guys those are very very toxic again it's cheaper it's faster and it's easier for those companies to do that and that's why it's very important that you go and you know and 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 just ask them and say you know what are your absolute essential oils and you know what what chemical solvent you know do you do you use to extract those oils you know if you are exposing yourself to that thinking oh you know Mahal you know um, told me all about this this great stuff about essential oils last week and I'm gonna go in this whatever company and they have all of this and, and if that's adulterated and if you know they they use all of this chemical solvents that are toxic to extract their absolute oils then ooh, you're, you're not doing any good for your body you know because those are toxins. You want the pure oils and you want the, the those those good quality pure oils. Okay. Um, um, okay. So so those are distilled essential oils and then we have the absolutes. For a young living, the absolute oils that we have are jasmine and neroli. Okay, jasmine and neroli. And on the oils of the Bible, um, onica or onica or onica. Those are the three oils that we have we have to harvest as an absolute um, essential oil because there's just no way that they can survive the the distillation process. <clears throat> And if you have used jasmine, oh my goodness, that is, that is, you know, just an, an amazing, amazing oil. I haven't used the Onica or the Neroli, but jasmine is amazing. All right, the next oil is the expressed oil. And the expressed oils technically are really not essential oils just because they, you know, as what we said, when you say essential oils, they are like a process of the of distillation and expressed oils are usually obtained by mechanically pressing like pressing the rind of of, of these plants so or, or the fruit the rind of the fruit of the plant <laughs> so the best example of this are the citrus oils you have your lemon your um uh, lemon um orange lime grapefruit um tangerine you know those are citrus oils and they actually get the rind and then mechanically press it and that's how they harvest the essential oils um so um they are they are just gender you know they're they're not strict in, in its strictest sense or sense of the term they're usually not essential oils but here um most in aromatherapy world they are just you know generally called essential oils and so since there's no heat involved and um these citru citrus oils are expressed at normal temperature then they contain some larger molecules compared to those that are distilled so um, remember last week we talked about that these essential oils are teeny, 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 tiny, and they're tiny, tiny molecules. Um, the citrus oils have those plus some larger molecules. And um, if you look at the kind of like how long do these oils last, if those are therapeutic or the distilled essential oil, they really don't expire. You could say... You know, when people ask me and say, you know, I have this joy oil for three years. My goodness. First of all, I'm going to say, why did it last that long? <laughs> you know, um, three years. Why are you not using it? You know, that's one of the best oils ever, joy oil. And I said, is that still good? And I said, yes. You know, um, it says, well, when do these oils expire? I said, if it's sealed, good. And if it's in a, in a kind of like a dark, bottle not a clear one and you know you have kept and it's not exposed to the sun all the time then it could actually last for 5,000 years you know they're good for 5,000 years and they're like 
oh, okay. <laughs> um, and, and yes, you know, they do. They, they usually don't expire. Now, the citrus oil, since they have those larger molecules, you know, there mixed with the teeny tiny molecules, then those have, you know, those can expire. But several years so um you know my citrus oils don't last you know like i i just put it in my water like crazy throughout the day so um you know i use that up in i don't know less than two months if it can last that long but um anyway uh so you know with the young living you don't have to worry i think about three or five years you know um but if you know but, but that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. If you, like you would say, how would I know that that oil is still good, the citrus oils are still good, then, you know, there's just no way to test but just the, the, um, the nose test. If it just doesn't smell like lemon or the orange or the grapefruit or the tangerine, then just, you know, like throw it away or use it as a freshener in your commode <laughs> um, and flush it. But um, anyway, yeah, so um, that's the only way to know. Just do the straight test, and if it you know, smells rancid, then just throw it. It's not good anymore. But with Young Living's, um, citrus oils are so high, high quality grade, it, would, you know, it will last you a while. Again, nose test, that's the perfect way to determine that. Okay? All right, so you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, at 12.30, I'm going to talk about, you know, the two kinds of oils that essential oil that the plant can manufacture. They, they have the fatty oil or what we call the base oil or the carrier oil, which are our vegetable oils, you know, like the um, olive almond oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and um, the essential oils. And we're going to compare, you know, we're going to compare that. Give me likes, you guys. Please comment. What are the, you know, did that help you understand? Understand a little bit about the distilled, the um, the absolutes, and the express essential oils. Um, please comment um, on that. Also, please don't forget if you're not yet on my um, Know His Oils virtual classroom. I'm, I'm that's my secret group. I teach there um, every Monday at 8:30 in the evening. Um, Please don't forget, if you are not yet a member, we would love to have you. If you don't have an oil lady yet, I would love to be your oil lady. And um, if you sign up with a premium starter kit this week through Friday, Friday's the deadline, you will get this three oils from me. So sign up with a premium starter kit and um, sign up um, with essential rewards. That's what you have to do to get this three oils. Lemon, lime, and grapefruit. They're awesome, you guys. They're awesome. Um, <clears throat> and also, so when you get the premium starter kit, you get the um, 11 oils plus a free diffuser. Some people would just sign up and get the kit just for the diffuser and the frankincense oil. Or the frankincense and the Panaway essential oil. So um, take that opportunity. Today is the day that you have to get access with these oils and to get started. Um, so anyway, um, please give me likes, please give me hearts. I'm about to, I'm about to end this broadcast. So please, please, please tag your friends, um, or not tag your friends. Tell your friends about this promo. This is the best time to um, get started in the oils. I will see you at around 12:30 after I homeschool and. Um, Again, if you are interested to be part of my Know His Oils, please message me and say, hey, can you add me to that? And once you're there, you can add um, friends. Okay, Ms. Brandis said, I had no idea the difference in the process of making essential oils. It was educational. Yes, yeah, there's just three types. So so when you use your your citrus essential oils, you're just like, mm, this is really not essential oil. These are express oils. They didn't distill this one. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Meet me here at 1230. Mwah. Bye.